Just look at that, look at it. The car's been sat in a barn for the past year, um, or a warehouse or something, and I think there must have been a window down because the dampness in the mould is just taking over. Look at this, it's absolutely horrible in here. I think this must be one of the worst cases of mould I have seen in a car. I mean, look at in the back there. It takes a long time. I mean, well, as I say, it's been almost a year. See, this is what happens. The car get parked up. It, had, it belongs to a local company and it had reached the uh, end of their time with them. It was three years and it was due to get renewed. So it was parked up, waiting to get sold. And it's um, because of whatever, the pandemic and what have you, they've just not had a time to deal with it. And then by the time they get round to it, it looks like this. Well, it's grim. Look at it. And I think it's just needing needs some auto shine TLC for sure. Look in the door edges. Anyway, guys and girls, let's just crack on with it. Right, guys and girls, before we go any further and we get this car looking clean. I just want to say a massive thanks to our video sponsor and we're sponsored in this video by Carly. Now the Carly device, it's a diagnostics tool for your car. Um, it works via Bluetooth to an app on your phone and it, it, so it can pick up those annoying, if you get a light on your dashboard, we've all had them, these annoying engine management lights that ping up at the most annoying times um, or you might have had a brake light come on, ABS warning light or something like that. With the Carly device, you can put connect this into your OBD reader port on your car. By then, it can you can actually walk away from your car and connect it to the app on your phone and you can stand outside here and find out what's actually causing that fault light to come on. On top of that, it actually, you can also unlock a load of hidden options in your car. So it's called coding and you can unlock things like follow your home lights. So basically, if you park your car in your driveway, you get out, you lock it. And what it'll do is it'll keep your headlights on for 20 or 30 seconds after getting out of the car, just to light up your driveway. Nice for getting into your house. You can see what you're doing, try to get your keys out and things like that. Also on my friend's 2018 BMW, we were able to code it so that we could tilt the mirrors down. If it goes into reverse, it, the mirror automatically tilts down so they can see any curbs or anything like that and avoid curbing his expensive alloy wheels. We also used it on a little 2013 BMW Mini. Um, there wasn't actually any lights on the dashboard on the Mini. We just plugged it in to check, check the, the machine out and it came up with faults that we didn't even know was there, ABS faults. So what we were able to do was we were able to erase those ABS faults and then we can set a reminder for the Carly app and that will remind us in three days to go back and check it. Now, if those faults have reappeared, we know that there's an ongoing problem with the car's ABS system. If they haven't came back, the chances are it's a historic problem that's already been solved and they just haven't erased the fault codes. So that's the kind of thing that you really could, you need to know. It's a really handy thing, thing to have. Also, when you're talking price, if you've ever had one of these lights come on and you've taken your car into the garage, chances are it's cost you an hour's labour just to get the diagnostics done. With the Carly device, you can have it in your glove box, check it on your phone as soon as that light comes on and it certainly doesn't cost you, even over the year, it doesn't cost you as much as an hour's labour and a half decent garage. So, check them out guys and girls, there's a link below the video in the description, and let's get on with the clean. Go.
choice words, but I won't let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite. I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright. Like a ricochet, it will come back to you. I don't care about you anymore So you can't hurt me like you did before Let me tell you So the seats are out and sort of this is this is what we've got. I mean you would never have been able to clean under there without getting the seats out, would we? Um we've got the back, the seat cover off the back seat. Um I mean it's mouldy under there, but it's not as bad as the base. The base was covered um underneath the seat cover. So I mean like so this this has got good access and stuff like that, so we'll be able to fully clean that without removing it from the car, so that's pretty good.
Do you know what's worse than having one bar in your phone battery? Having one bar in your car battery. <laughs> Look at that. This is the future, guys and girls. This is the future. Well guys and girls, there's another one done and looking, well, it's a bit of a turn around this one, let's be honest. Let's have a little refresh, refresh our memory of what it was like when it came in. Um, let's have a look.
It was pretty bad there, boys, isn't it? I mean, that's... It's probably the worst one I've done for a couple of years, that. It really did make me itch. And as I said, to wear a mask when I was driving it at first, it was absolutely horrible. But the good thing is, the seat covers especially, the, the, because it had seat covers on it, that had taken the brunt of the mould, so we just got those off, threw them away. There was some mould underneath them, but it was minimal, apart from the back seat bench, that was really quite bad. But the fabric was good, it cleaned up pretty good. We cleaned, I did clean the rear seat up right um, just before I went home last night. Uh, but we'd ran out of batteries for the camera by that point and I just, I wanted it done. Main reason being, what I wanted to do last night was, I wanted to keep the car in the unit with the windows down and put the heat, heating on in the unit so that we could get it dry. So when we came in this morning, the seats were nice and dry. The inside of the car, the carpets and everything, they were all dried out and it was ready for the seats and things to go back in. And that's the main thing with mouldy cars. If you don't get them dry, the mould will come back quicker than quicker than you like. Um, it smells much better, it looks much better, and I'm sure it'll feel like it drives better too, just because it's clean. So that's that, another one done. So that just leaves us with my little question. Um, so basically, I was kind of going through my YouTube uh, my channels that I've subscribed to last night and one of the channels that I subscribed to is called The Bay Sauce Show. The guy is a young lad, he's into BMW, all BMWs, a bit like myself, and I think his content's really good. It can be quite funny at times, it's just, it's good to watch actually, I quite enjoy it. But I was quite surprised to notice that he had a pretty, pretty low subscriber count, under a thousand. And I think he deserves more actually. I think it's probably because maybe YouTube's just not quite got to promoting his channel yet, or the algorithm on YouTube's quite funny. Sometimes your channel, your channel will, the subscriber count will shoot away up because YouTube's promoting your channel more. Or sometimes it just, it hardly moves it. In fact, your subscriber count might go down a wee bit. Um, so I thought I would just, if everybody would just comment with somebody that, maybe a channel that they watch, that they, you can tell they put a lot of effort into making their videos. Um, they're good to watch, maybe a bit funny and whatever. Uh, it can be about anything. Um, I know a lot of people are into like things like watching tools getting repaired and stuff like that. Um, or creative channels. Uh, my other half watches a lot of sort of art, arty farty channels and things like that. So if you could put a channel in the comments that you like, everybody deserves a wee bit of sort of advertisement. I mean, even if only one or two people click on these videos, it, it helps. Every, everything helps, doesn't it? So guys and girls, comment that below. Stay safe and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.